All right, everybody, uh, Mike Lines here. Uh, what we're gonna do today is a comparison video. Um, two of the most common arm exercises is preacher um, and uh, bicep curl uh, on cables. So uh, I'm gonna do the plus and minuses of both and what I think uh, my favorite is and give you my honest opinions of both. So we're gonna start with the preacher. Um, just because of my shoulder injuries, I can't do double. So I'm just gonna show you a single. Again, I don't like grabbing it like this because it incorporates too much of the forearm. So I put my thumb underneath um, and I drive with this part of um, my wrist all the way up. And notice I'm getting the full stretch up and getting the full squeeze. I'm not stopping halfway down and only coming up halfway. It's full range of motion. I'm controlling the weight. I'm just not throwing it up and letting it come all the way down. It's control. I put myself in a predicament where the pad is up in my armpit. I'm not standing up like this. I'm not sitting back. Like for me, if I sit back, it's gonna put way too much stress on my bicep and it literally feels like it's gonna tear. So I kind of lean into the machine like this and everything's in that proper spot. Just a personal preference. Um, like I said, when I, for me to sit down, you see where my, like, my arm's way out here. I'm gonna hyper extend it. So I get in the spot where it's, it's right about here and then I can grab onto it and I can get a full, full stretch at the bottom, full squeeze at the top, okay? That's what I do with my preachers. Let's head on over to the cable. I'm gonna keep it with a single arm. So even if this was a bar, it's the same kind of process. So you want the cable right from where it uh, goes from the pulley right to your shoulders is straight. You want your elbow nice and tight. You're just curling up. With this, you have a lot more dexterity. So you can see that I can go from a neutral and rotate it. So my pinkies are up towards my shoulder at the very top. Common mistakes in this one is people are Leaning like this, or they're like this. They're not doing the full rep. They're only doing partials. Um, they're going way too heavy, and they're swinging their body into it like this. It's the same as a preacher. You want control throughout the whole rep. So everything's here. Elbow's in nice and tight so it doesn't move. You don't want your elbow swinging back this way. So it's all up, slow down. All up, slow down. Control that rep, control the weight. So for me, um, if you're gonna do either one of them, I really like the Preacher just because it has that um, stability. Um, but for dexterity, I like the cable. So it's realistic, it comes down to how I'm feeling that day, how my joints are feeling. Uh, if I really wanna get really good squeeze at the top, I'll do the cable because of the dexterity, I can kind of rotate my wrist. Um, if I'm going for just, crazy pump for overall. I'm gonna do Preacher. Um, I may even do 21s, the seven low, seven high, seven full uh, protocol. Um, for me, again, it's getting that pump. It's getting that overall as much blood in there. Build, uh, blow up that muscle like a balloon. Uh, each rep, you're just getting that full squeeze, full stretch. Um, a lot of people just, they, they do a lot of partials and it comes down to they're trying to lift too heavy. So when they're coming up, they're not coming all the way down to get that full stretch. And then when it's coming up, they're not going all the way up to get that full squeeze. Um, so it comes with both bicep and tricep training. You just, you need full range of motion to get more blood in. So um, that's something that uh, I've always predicated and used it throughout my arm training is full range of motion. Um, to get a maximal pump. So if you guys like it, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll be making videos for you guys in the future. Keep it up.